Are you serious? Are you serious? What? Alex Jones lost it last night, and I think I know why. I think I know why he might have, had some people's views, went over the top. Let's remember this. He was defending our Second Amendment rights, and he is correct. His statistics he gave and the governments that have taken guns from other uh, within their countries to end up slaughtering or to taking, making total totalitarian governments or communist governments or, or bringing total tyranny to the people all starts with the first usually changing the constitutions, uh, redirecting the direction of where the power lies, taking it from the people to the select few, and then ultimately taking the guns. And what you're hearing, I'm going to play it right now. I've got a scripture here that I got from, uh, sent to me by Roy Richards that is perfect for this segment. Thank you, Roy. And I want to thank Penny and Vernon and Stephen of Oklahoma and others, a lot of you. Thank all of you for your, your uh, information and links. I've read everybody's account of what happened with Alex Jones yesterday. And I even watched Solibret, Solibret O'Brien and a panel of five or six sitting around a table literally laughing at him. But it's not a laughing matter. The American public has to remain armed. It is our Second Amendment rights to protect us from spiritual wickedness in high places. Now, let's play it right now. Here is a segment. I'll play some of it on audio. Pierce Morgan interviewing Alex Jones on CNN. Entitled, I quote, Deport British citizen Piers Morgan for attacking Second Amendment. Take a look, more than 104,000 people have signed it so far. And joining me now is one of the people behind the petition, Alex Jones. He's host of the Alex Jones Show. Welcome to you. Pierce, thanks for having me. Why do you want to deport me? Well, we did it as a way to bring attention to the fact that we have all of these foreigners and the Russian government, the official Chinese government, Mao said political power goes out of the barrel of a gun. He killed about 80 million people because he's the only guy that had the guns. So we did it to point out that this is globalism and the mega banks that control the planet and brag that they've taken over in Bloomberg, AP, Reuters, you name it, brag that they're going to get our guns as well. They've taken everybody's guns but the Swiss and the American people. And That's when they true. get our guns, they can have their world tyranny. While the government buys 1.6 billion bullets, armored vehicles, tanks, helicopters, predator drones, armed, now in U.S. skies, being used to arrest people in North Dakota, the Second Amendment isn't there for duck hunting. It's there to protect us from tyrannical government and street thugs. Take the women in India. Your piece earlier on CNN I was watching uh, during Anderson Cooper's show didn't tell you that the women of India have signed giant petitions to get firearms because the police can't and won't protect them. The That's answer true. is, Let's hey, wait a minute, I have FBI crime statistics okay. that come out a year late, 2011. 20 plus percent crime drop in the last nine years. Real violent crime because more guns means less crime. Britain took the guns 15, 16 years ago. Tripling of your overall violent crime. True, we have a higher gun violence uh, level, but overall mugging, stabbings, deaths. You, those men raped that woman in India to death with an iron rod four feet long. You can't ban the iron rods. The guns, the iron rods, Pierce, didn't do it. The tyrants did it. Hitler took the guns. Stalin took the guns. Mao took the guns. Fidel Castro took the guns. Hugo Chavez took the guns. And I'm here to tell you, 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. Doesn't matter how many lemmings you get out there on the street begging for them to have their guns taken. We will not relinquish them. Do you understand? That was Alex Jones. Um, now, there was two segments. I think that was probably the way to, uh, this is how this thing got started. Alex Jones wanted to be sure he got his message out there before he got cut off before he didn't fully get to put, give his point of view. Look, I was interviewed by CNN. I know exactly how those things go. They cut and paste, okay? So having said that, you got to give Alex a little credit. He went live. That way he could say it live. He knew that no matter if they, if they didn't get to give him, and he was supposed to have three segments. He only got two. They threw him out of there because they felt, I guess they were afraid of him or whatever. Look, he might have overreacted, but... When the dust settles, the message got out there. And let me take a look at it from a spiritual standpoint. 
One of the reasons I wrote my book, Mark of the Beast, R-F-I-D, God told me to write it to help explain. First of all, in this book has a lot of current events that took place, already have happened. And then it's filled with Bible prophecy. And then an end time apocalyptic scenario of how this thing could wind up. Well, guess who's in this book? Besides Ahmadullah John, the Chinese general, and, and, and President Obama, and Mohammed Mercy up here of Egypt, and Vladimir Putin, and 16 other folks on the back page. Alex Jones is in this book. Alex Jones is in this book and gets arrested. Ends up in a FEMA camp down in Dallas, Texas. Now, you'll have to get it and read the rest of it to find out how the end result of that was for him. But the reason he's in the book was because in this book, we talk about the rise of the, the beast and the new world order, is because in the last days, when things begin to tighten up, they're going to, uh, we don't know how far, we got to go into this beginning of sorrows, okay? We don't know how far. Somebody said to me, P Pastor Begley, why are you saying Christians might get put in FEMA camps? Well, because they're already in prison camps in China, two million of them. One million in North Korea. They're in prison in Cuba. They're in prison, literally. They're being murdered with machetes in Nigeria. They're being murdered in Rwanda. They're being murdered in Uganda. They're being imprisoned and beheaded in Tunisia. Egypt, they were crucified just a few months ago in the front porch on the in the yard of the presidential palace of Mohammed Mercy. You see, the reason a guy like Alex Jones might have lost, lost it a little bit and the passion ran over is he, and he's not coming from it from necessarily a biblical standpoint because I don't think he is, but what he's saying is we can't lose our constitutional rights. And folks, I'll put it this way. You've got to start, you got to, you can see it coming, okay? The Bible says it's going to happen. An antichrist will rise. Matter of fact, one of the 12 prophecies the Lord gave me for 2013 is that it's the very words of the prophecy was, they will try hard, but not accomplish taking our Second Amendment rights. And in my book, Mark of the Beast, RFID, the reason that America is the most difficult country for the New World Order to get their arms around it and can't control it is because the American public are armed with firearms, and they fight back. The other countries are going to be real easy. Their marshmallow messages, that, 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 their marshmallow mentality, well, they'll just, they're, they're like, they'll just be led. The American people have a fighting spirit because they, for 230 years, have had a freedom of speech, freedom to assemble, freedom to express themselves, freedom to worship, freedom to bear arms. They have the freedom to be an entrepreneur spirit, to be a democracy, and to have free market enterprise. They are not going to surrender that easy, but in the end, the beast will rise. An antichrist will take full power. You can guarantee that. Here's what the Bible says in Ephesians. Pastor, what should I do? Go to the Bible first and foremost. And here's what it says. In Ephesians 6.10, finally, my brethren, you need to be strong in the Lord. That's where you got to put your faith. Not in Alex Jones, not in Paul Begley or anyone else. Put your faith, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and against rulers of darkness of this world and against spiritual wickedness in high Places Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, because it's coming, and having all to, st done to stand, stand there for it. How do, what armor do you need? Having your loins girt about with the truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, live right, and your feet are shot with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Having, above all, have the shield of faith, that you can fight off all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Are you saved? Don't be afraid, but be awake. This is the real world we're in. Pray for one another.
Give your life to Jesus Christ. Be born again. Send me a message. I want to be saved.